But it's up y'all, it's your girl Fuzz and for today's video I'm talking about every recipe that's available in Stardew Valley, how to get them, the ingredients required for them and what they give back. Let's get into it! So to make navigating a little easier on you guys, I split up the recipes into six different sections. Going from what I believe is the easiest to obtain, to what is harder to obtain in your first playthrough of Stardew Valley. So the easiest recipe to get your hands on is available from Gus at the Stardew Saloon. And that will be the Triple Shot Espresso, which can be bought for 5,000 gold. Once bought, you can craft one of these out of three coffees. The difference between a coffee and espresso is a coffee gives a plus one speed buff for 1 minute 23 seconds and espresso gives a plus one speed for 4 minutes and 12 seconds. You can either grow your coffee indoors with a garden plot given to you by Evelyn at Two Hearts or you can buy your coffee from Gus from the Star Job Saloon if you'd like a quick easy access to them. Next up, the second easiest recipe you can get is when you upgrade your farmhouse for the first time to gain access to a kitchen with 10,000 gold and 450 wood from Robin. This not only unlocks the kitchen in your farmhouse for all these recipes to be cooked in, but also unlocks the recipe for fried egg. It uses one egg and returns 50 energy and 22 health. A very cheap and basic recipe. Next up would be the recipes available on your TV every Sunday via the Queen of Sauce. Or if you've missed an episode, there's a chance to watch a rerun on Wednesday. Every Sunday for the first two years, we'll offer a new recipe. And every two years after that, we'll repeat these recipes. I will start with this season, the day that it's on and the year that it's on for these recipes. Quick little intermission, if you're liking today's video, why not consider leaving a like, it greatly supports the channel. And if you want to see more Stardew Valley videos, why not consider subscribing? If you have any questions about today's video or you want to see another Stardew Valley video, why not comment down below and you'll see a reply from me. So for your very first recipe for day 7 of spring, the Queen of Sauce will offer the recipe for a stir fry. It uses one cave carrot, one kale and one oil. It replenishes 200 energy and 90 health. A simple recipe for plenty of energy. Spring 14 year 1 offers the recipe for coleslaw. It uses one cabbage, one vinegar and one mayonnaise. It replenishes 213 energy and 95 health. Spring 21 year 1 offers the recipe for a radish salad. It uses one oil, one vinegar and one radish. It replenishes 200 energy and 90 health. Spring 28 year 1 offers the recipe for an omelette. It uses one egg and one milk. It gives 100 energy and 44 health. If you've missed this recipe on the TV, you can buy the recipe from the Star Drop Saloon for 100 gold. Summer Day 7 year 1 offers the recipe for a baked fish. It uses one sunfish caught in the river in spring and summer during the day, one brim which is caught in the river at night, and one wheat flour. It replenishes 75 energy and 33 health. Summer Day 14 Year 1 offers the recipe for pancakes. It uses one wheat flour and one egg. It replenishes 90 energy and 40 health. This meal also increases your foraging skill by 2 points. Any meal that increases your skill points will increase the chance for better quality items. And if you're already level 10, using this meal will put plus 2 foraging on top of that. So you'll have level 12 foraging when foraging for items, meaning you'll get better quality items. This recipe can also be bought from the Star Drop Saloon for 100 gold. Summer Day 21 Year 1 offers the recipe for a Mackey Roll. It uses any one fish, one seaweed and one rice. It replenishes 100 energy and 44 health. This can also be bought from the Star Drop Saloon for 300 gold. Summer Day 28 Year 1 offers the recipe for bread. It uses only one wheat flour. This replenishes 50 energy and 22 health. This can also be bought from the Star Drop Saloon for 100 gold. Four Day 7 Year 1 offers the recipe for a tortilla. It uses one corn. This replenishes 50 energy and 22 health. It can also be bought from the Star Drop Saloon for 100 gold. Fall Day 14 Year 1 offers the recipe for a trout soup. It uses one rainbow trout which is caught in the river or mountain lake in summer and one green algae. This replenishes 100 energy and 44 health. It also increases your fishing skill by 1 point which can last for 4 minutes and 39 seconds in real time. Fall Day 21 Year 1 offers the recipe for glazed yams. It uses one yam and one sugar. This replenishes 200 energy and 90 health. Fall Day 28 Year 1 offers the recipe for an artichoke dip. It uses one artichoke and one milk. This replenishes 100 energy and 44 health. Winter Day 7 Year 1 offers the recipe for plum pudding. 
It uses two wild plums, one wheat flour and one sugar. This replenishes 175 energy and 78 health. Winter Day 14 Year 1 offers the recipe for a chocolate cake. It uses one wheat flour, one sugar and one egg. This replenishes 150 energy and 67 health. Winter Day 21 Year 1 offers the recipe for a pumpkin cake. It uses one pumpkin, one wheat flour, one milk and one sugar. It replenishes 225 energy and 101 health. This meal replenishes the most health and energy as a first year recipe. Winter Day 28 Year 1 offers the recipe for cranberry candy. It uses one cranberry, one apple and one sugar. This replenishes 125 energy and 56 health. And now for Year 2 items. Spring Day 7 Year 2 offers the recipe for a pizza. It uses one wheat flour, one tomato and one cheese. It replenishes 150 energy and 67 health. This can also be bought from the Star Drop Saloon for 150 gold. Spring 14 Year 2 offers the recipe for a hash brown. It uses one potato and one oil. It replenishes 90 energy and 40 health and increases your farming skill by one point for five minutes and 35 seconds. The recipe can also be bought from the Star Drop Saloon for 50 gold. Spring Day 21 Year 2 offers the recipe for a complete breakfast. This recipe is a bit hefty, but it can replenish a lot in return. It uses one fried egg, one milk, one hash brown, and one pancake. It replenishes 200 energy and 89 health. This also increases your farming level by 2 points and your max energy by 50 for 7 minutes. Spring Day 28 Year 2 offers a recipe for a lucky lunch. It uses one sea cucumber, which is caught in the ocean in fall and winter during the day, one tortilla and one blue jazz. It replenishes 100 energy and 45 health, but it also increases your luck by 3 for 11 minutes and 11 seconds in real time. Summer Day 7 Year 2 offers a recipe for a carp surprise. It uses 4 carps which is caught at any time in a few places like the mountain lake and the secret woods. It replenishes 90 energy and 40 health. Summer Day 14 Year 2 offers a recipe for a maple bar. This is a very useful recipe that uses 1 maple syrup, 1 sugar and 1 wheat flour. It replenishes 225 energy and 101 health. It also increases your skill points by 1 in farming, fishing and mining for 16 minutes and 47 seconds in real time. Summer Day 21 Year 2 offers a recipe for a pink cake. It uses 1 melon, 1 wheat flour, 1 sugar and 1 egg. It replenishes 250 energy and 112 health. Summer Day 28 Year 2 offers a recipe for roasted hazelnuts. It uses 3 hazelnuts and replenishes 175 energy and 78 health. Fall Day 7 Year 2 offers a recipe for a fruit salad. It uses 1 blueberry, 1 melon and 1 apricot and replenishes 263 energy and 118 health, which is the most return of all the 80 recipes in Stardew Valley. Fall Day 14 Year 2 offers a recipe for a blackberry cobbler. It uses two blackberries, one sugar and one wheat flour and replenishes 175 energy and 78 health. Fall Day 21 Year 2 offers a recipe for a crab cake. It uses one crab, one wheat flour, one egg and one oil. It returns 225 energy and 101 health and also increases your speed and defense by one point for 16 minutes and 47 seconds in real time. Fall Day 28 Year 2 offers a recipe for a fiddlehead risotto. It uses one oil, one fiddlehead fern found in the secret woods and one garlic and replenishes 225 energy and 101 health. Winter Day 7 Year 2 offers a recipe for a poppy seed muffin. It uses one poppy, one wheat flour and one sugar and replenishes 150 energy and 67 health. Winter Day 14 Year 2 offers a recipe for a lobster biscuit. It uses one lobster and one milk. It replenishes 225 energy and 101 health. It also increases your fishing skill by 3 points and your max energy by 50 for 16 minutes and 47 seconds. Willy will also send you this recipe when you reach 9 hearts with him. Winter Day 21 Year 2 offers a recipe for bruschetta. It uses 1 bread, 1 oil and 1 tomato. It replenishes 113 energy and 50 health. And lastly, Winter 28 Year 2 offers a recipe for a shrimp cocktail. It uses one tomato, one shrimp and one wild horseradish. It replenishes 225 energy and 101 health. It also increases your fishing skill by one and your luck by one for 10 minutes and 2 seconds in real time. The next recipes are available at certain skill types. At your combat skill there are two recipes to unlock. At combat level 3, 
you unlock the recipe for Roots Platter. It uses one cave carrot and one winter fruit. It replenishes 125 energy and 56 health. It also increases your attack skill by 3 for 5 minutes and 35 seconds in real time. At combat level 9, you unlock the recipe for squid ink ravioli. It uses one squid ink, one wheat flour, and one tomato. It also increases your mining skill by one for 4 minutes and 39 seconds in real time. It also offers a squid ink ravioli buff for 2 minutes and 59 seconds, which prevents all debuffs. At farming level 3, you unlock the recipe for a farmer's lunch. It uses one omelette and one parsnip. It replenishes 200 energy and 89 health and also increases your farming skill by 3 for 5 minutes and 35 seconds. For fishing, there are two recipes to unlock. At farming level 3, you'll unlock the recipe Dish Over the Sea. It replenishes 125 energy and 56 health. It also increases your fishing skill by 3 for 5 minutes and 35 seconds in real time. At fishing level 9, it unlocks the recipe for a sea foam pudding. This is a little more difficult to make. It uses one flounder, which is a fish that can be caught in the ocean in spring and summer during the day. One midnight carp, which can be caught in fall or winter after 10pm in a few places including the mountain lake or Cinderset forest. And one squid ink. It also increases your fishing skill by 4 for 3 minutes and 30 seconds. At foraging level 2, you unlock the recipe for a survival burger. It uses one bread, one cave carrot and one eggplant. It replenishes 125 energy and 56 health. It also increases your foraging skill by 3 for 5 minutes and 35 seconds in real time. And lastly, your mining skill at level 3 will unlock the recipe for a miner's treat. It uses two cave carrots, one sugar and one milk. It replenishes 125 energy and 56 health. It also increases your mining skill by 3 and your magnetism by 32 for 5 minutes and 35 seconds in real time. Next up is the recipes you'll receive from people that you connect with in Stardew Valley. I'll do this in alphabetical order if there's a certain person that you're trying to love. Caroline offers two recipes. At 3 hearts, she'll send a recipe for a parsnip soup. It uses one parsnip, one milk and one vinegar. It replenishes 85 energy and 38 health. At 7 hearts with her, she'll send you a recipe for a vegetable medley. Uses one tomato and one beet and replenishes 165 energy and 74 health. Clint offers two recipes. At 3 hearts, he'll send you a recipe for an algae soup. It uses 4 green algae and replenishes 75 energy and 33 health. At 7 hearts, he'll send you a recipe for a bean hot pot. It uses 2 green beans. For the ingredients, this is a pretty good recipe as it replenishes 125 energy and 56 health. It also increases your max energy by 30 and your magnetism by 32 for 7 minutes in real life. It also increases your max energy by 30 and magnetism by 32 for 7 minutes in real time. Demetrius offers two recipes. At three hearts, he'll send you a recipe for fried mushroom. It uses one common mushroom, one morale, and one oil. It replenishes 135 energy and 60 health, but it also increases your attack by two for seven minutes. At seven hearts, he'll send you a recipe for an autumn's bounty. It uses one yam and one pumpkin. It replenishes 220 energy and 99 health. It also increases your foraging and defense by 2 points for 7 minutes and 41 seconds in real time. Emily offers two recipes. At 3 hearts, she'll send you a recipe for a salad. He uses one leek, one dandelion and one vinegar. It replenishes 113 energy and 50 health. At 7 hearts, she'll send you a recipe for a red plate. It replenishes 240 energy and 108 health. It also increases your max energy by 50 for 3 minutes and 30 seconds in real time. Evelyn offers two recipes. At 4 hearts, she'll send you a recipe for a cookie. It uses one wheat flour, one sugar and one egg. It replenishes 90 energy and 40 health. At 7 hearts, she'll send you a recipe for rice pudding. It uses one milk, one sugar and one rice. It replenishes 115 energy and 51 health. George, yes the meanie, offers two recipes. At 3 hearts, he'll send you a recipe for a fried eel. It uses one eel and one oil. It replenishes 75 energy and 33 health. It also increases your luck by 1 for 7 minutes. At 7 hearts, he'll send you a recipe for a spicy eel. It uses one eel and one hot pepper. It replenishes 115 energy and 51 health. It'll also increase your luck and speed by 1 for 7 minutes in real time, which is great for the Skull Cave. Gus will offer two recipes. At 3 hearts, he'll send you a recipe for a salmon dinner. It uses one salmon, which is caught in the river in fall during the day, one amaranth and one kale. It replenishes 125 energy and 56 health. 
At Seven Hearts, he'll send you a recipe for a cranberry sauce. It uses one cranberry and one sugar. It replenishes 125 energy and 56 health and also increases your mining skill by two for three minutes and 30 seconds in real time. Jodie offers two recipes. At Three Hearts, she'll offer the recipe fried calamari. It uses one squid, which is caught in the ocean in winter at night, one wheat flour and one oil. It replenishes 80 energy and 36 health. At Seven Hearts, she'll send you the recipe for ice cream, which uses one milk and one sugar. It replenishes 100 energy and 45 health. Kent offers two recipes. At Three Hearts, he'll send you the recipe for crispy bass. It uses one large mouth bass, which is found any time in the mountain during the day, one wheat flour and one oil. It replenishes 90 energy and 40 health. It also increases your magnetism by 64 for seven minutes in real time. At Seven Hearts, he'll send you the recipe Super Meal. It uses one bok choy, one cranberry and one artichoke. It replenishes 160 energy and 72 health. It also increases your max energy by 40 and speed by one for three minutes and 30 seconds in real time. Lewis offers two recipes. At Three Hearts, he'll send you the recipe spaghetti where it uses one wheat flour and one tomato. It replenishes 75 energy and 33 health. At Seven Hearts, he'll send you the recipe eggplant parmesan. It uses one eggplant and one tomato. It replenishes 175 energy and 78 health and also increases your mining by one and events by three, which will last four minutes and 39 seconds in real time. Linus offers two recipes. At Three Hearts, he'll send you the recipe sashimi, which uses any one fish. It replenishes 75 energy and 33 health. At Seven Hearts, he'll send you the recipe fish taco, which uses one tuna, which is caught in summer and winter in the ocean during the day, one tortilla, one red cabbage, and one mayonnaise. It replenishes 165 energy and 74 health, and also increases your fishing skill by two for seven minutes. Miney will offer two recipes. At Three Hearts, she'll send you the recipe pale broth. It uses two white algae and replenishes 125 energy and 56 health. At Seven Hearts, she'll send the recipe rhubarb pie. It uses one rhubarb, one wheat flour, and one sugar. It replenishes 215 energy and 96 health. Pam offers two recipes. At Three Hearts, she'll send you the recipe cheese cauliflower. It uses one cauliflower and one cheese and replenishes 138 energy and 62 health. At Seven Hearts, she'll send the recipe for stuffing. It uses one bread, one cranberry, and one hazelnut. It replenishes 170 energy and 76 health and also increases your defense by two for five minutes and 35 seconds. Pierre will only offer one recipe, and that's at Three Hearts. He'll send you the recipe for blueberry tart. It uses one blueberry, one wheat flour, one sugar, and one egg. It replenishes 125 energy and 56 health. Robin, ill, offers one recipe. At Seven Hearts, she'll send you the recipe pumpkin soup. It uses one pumpkin and one milk. It replenishes 200 energy and 90 health and also increases your defense and luck by two for seven minutes and 41 seconds in real time. Sandy, who is found in the oasis in the desert, will offer one recipe. At Seven Hearts, she'll send you the recipe for Tom Ka soup. It uses one coconut, one shrimp, and one common mushroom. It replenishes 175 energy and 78 health and also increases your farming skill by two and max energy by 30 for seven minutes. Shane offers two recipes. At Three Hearts, he'll send the recipe Pepper Poppers. It uses one hot pepper and one cheese. It replenishes 130 energy and 58 health. It also increases your farming skill by two and speed by one for seven minutes in real time. At Seven Hearts, he'll send you the recipe Strange Bun. It uses one wheat flour, one peri wrinkle, and one void mayonnaise. It replenishes 100 energy and 45 health. Willie is special, he offers four recipes. One was mentioned previously for the Queen of Swords. So here are the other notable mentions. At Three Hearts, he'll send you the recipe chowder. It uses one clam and one milk. It'll replenish 225 energy and 101 health. It'll also increase your fishing level by one for 16 minutes and 47 seconds in real time. At Five Hearts, Willie will send you the recipe escargot. It'll use one snail and one garlic. It'll replenish 225 energy and 101 health but it'll also increase your fishing skill by two for 16 minutes and 47 seconds in real time. At Seven Hearts, Willie will send you the recipe fish stew. It'll use one crayfish, one mussel, one periwinkle, and one tomato. It'll replenish 225 energy and 101 health, and it'll also increase your fishing skill by three for 16 minutes and 47 seconds. 
And lastly, the last five recipes available in Sanju Valley are unlocked when Ginger Island is unlocked. If you haven't gained access to Ginger Island yet, and you do have the 1.5 update available, I'll put one of my previous videos on how to gain access to Ginger Island in the annotations if you'd like to find out how to unlock Ginger Island. Firstly, there is one recipe which can be bought from the island trader with 30 bone fragments, which is the banana pudding. It uses one banana, one milk, and one sugar. It replenishes 125 energy and 56 health. It also increases your mining, luck, and defense by one for five minutes and one second in real time. Another recipe that can be bought is when the Ginger Island Resort is unlocked. When Gus is available here, you can buy the recipe, the tropical curry. It uses one coconut, one pineapple, and one hot pepper. It replenishes 150 energy and 67 health, but also increases your foraging skill by four for five minutes and one second in real time. Another recipe that can be bought on the island is from the dwarf shop found in the volcano at level five. It is the ginger ale. It uses three ginger and one sugar. It replenishes 63 energy and 28 health and also increases your luck by one for five minutes in real time. Lastly, you'll want to become friends with Leo, who you will encounter at first. At three hearts with him, he'll send you a recipe for Poe. It uses four taro root. It replenishes 75 energy and 33 health. At seven hearts, he'll send you the recipe for mango sticky rice. It'll use one mango, one coconut, and one rice. It replenishes 113 energy and 50 health, but also increases your defense by three for five minutes and one second in real time. And that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for joining. If you'd like to see me live, I'm on twitch.tv forward slash fuzzerina and all my social media links are in the description below. It was lovely to see your faces again. Do take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time. Take care.